Hi and welcome to this week's episode, which is all about baby on budget. So uh, we got a lot of pre-loved stuff for our baby, which is due in November 2020. And the one of the main reason is that my business and my husband business were hugely impacted by COVID and you know the lockdown and restrictions and everything. So uh, and I got pregnant right before all things just went down. So we said like we need to be quite careful because we don't know what's gonna happen. Uh, with our businesses in a, in a short future or longer future. So we just like, let's just see, you know. Uh, another reason we got the pre-loved stuff, it was just common sense because uh, I talked to a lot of parents and they said, yeah, we got this new, that new, we spent that kind of money. Then we end up buying new pram because the baby didn't like the pram. Uh, you know, we, we bought so much clothes, new clothes, and then the baby was born either too big or too, you know, if it's, if the baby is born smaller, then it's good because it will grow into this, you know, the clothes. But if it's born too big, then you have a plenty of clothes, which is like, well, and what? Or you have it just for a week or two weeks and then baby, baby, grow, baby grows out of it. So there were a lot of things like, well, that it doesn't make sense buying everything new, especially because of, um, they are on like now eBay, Facebook, uh, you know, other places you can buy secondhand or pre love stuff. And uh, and they're brilliant. So I will just get you through what we got uh, pre loved and how much we sort of saved on that. So we got a cot bed. We got a cot bed on eBay. Uh, it was mamas and, or it is mamas and papas. It is in excellent condition. We bought it for twenty-five pounds, and uh, original price it's two hundred seventy. So, <laughs> you know, like mm, that's a lot of money saved for for cot, which is in you know in brilliant condition. There's nothing wrong with that cot, and uh, and uh, so I would recommend if they, it's sold with a mattress and you don't like the mattress, buy the new mattress. They are not expensive, and you can have it just new mattress, but you're still saving a lot of money on the cot itself you know there are plenty of cots or cot beds online because again the parents didn't use them or or they use them just for you know just for few months uh so again that's one of the things you know the beds or or the next to me uh beds or whatever you know they call we didn't get any of this the, our baba there he has only only cot and that's it. <laughs> so we'll see how he will like it. Uh, so yeah, that's like twenty-five pounds for the card, which is originally two hundred seventy. And uh, it's perfect condition. We got a, a second-hand prom as well. Uh, so the the whole travel set with a curry cord, with the the with the, the seat, with uh, it got what it got um, changing bag, uh, the umbrella. Uh, rain cover a drink the drink holder uh didn't have a car seat uh but it had all these accessories for that and only i will tell you how much we pay so again mama and papa's we, we went for okara um because i it suits our lifestyle or it suits what we want at the beginning for the first maybe year or two and um uh, the original price with all this, you know, all the, 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 the curry coat and bag and, and umbrella and this would be over £1,000. We got it in really good condition. You know, the curry coat is like new completely for 250 Just the changing bag cost 100 quid. So we got it. It's in a really, really good condition. The frame has a few scratches, obviously, like because you 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 put it in a car out of the car, so it does have a few scratches, but the handle is okay. You know, uh, the scratches are on the on the side when you don't really see them or you don't really pay attention. You know, the seat is great. Uh, the curry cord it's like new. I don't think they even use it. If they use it, just for a little bit. You know, and uh, and uh, I will talk about like what is the pro and cons on, on the end of the stuff. But again, if you think about like 250, it was used for just one baby. 
And when we ask them why they are getting rid of it, because we saw the baby or the baby boy, baby boy, the boy, and uh, uh, he was quite quite small. I didn't I didn't see thing. It's a big baby. But when I asked him, like, why are they getting rid of that 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 pram? Uh, they said because the ba- uh, the boy got too big, and when they're putting the roof uh, uh, up, he just you know keeps hitting it. And I was like, geez, he's two. He's gonna on. He, he he was about to be two years old, and they need a new one already. You know, something else, something different. And maybe you will need something more practical or more light or something, you know, for the two years old. And I heard that a lot from the parents that they go to the, the travel set because you get the, the seat, the the uh, you get the easier because you can just click the, the car seat into it and all the stuff. So it makes it really practical for probably first year, like really practical, especially with the carry cord. But then it gets into the point when, you know, after six months, they said, you, you know, uh, you should put, you can put the baby a little bit, like they can sit uh, in that in that pushchair. Uh, but until then, you st- anyway, you have to keep them flat. So, you know, I was thinking, if that's just for a year and a half, maybe, or we will, like, see if we're going to have another one, and, and then we will need uh, something for the two 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 bits then we will need to change it anyway so it's like let's don't get crazy let's don't spend too much money too much money on it let's just be sensible and we actually uh my, my mother-in-law offered pay for the prom so she got it for us so we didn't pay for it but we saved her a lot of money <laughs> um Car seat. Yes, we got the second-hand car seat, but it was just because our neighbor offered us, and we know that the car seat was not in an accident. It's good. It's safe. They don't recommend uh, buying second-hand um, uh, car seats because it could be an accident. So it could be, you know, or some things can be broken, or some some things can be wrong with it. So just be careful. You know, if you're having second-hand. Uh, um, car seat then know from who is it and that you know it, it's okay it's 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 never been an accident and we got the uh, maxi cozy uh cabrio fix and um and uh yeah it was for 20 pounds with the base with everything with the the base which going in the car with the rain cover and yeah 20 pounds again it's something will cost much more i think just the seat is around 100 pounds something and then you have the base as well so a lot of money saved but as i said before be careful be careful be careful with the car seats they you know not they're not always safe buying second hand and people or you know doctors or or they don't like to see it because you you don't know and if you don't know the person you're buying from it you know like uh, um it can be tricky Baby clothes. Okay, so baby clothes. Uh, we got 99% of it secondhand. And I was really lucky. I found um, a mom who was selling her baby boy's clothes on a Facebook. And it was 30 pounds. And I saw like, well, it looks like there's a lot of clothes. And it was mainly uh, zero to three months. And then a little bit of uh, six no, three to six, and then just a few pieces of uh, uh, nine months, six to nine months. But just like, I think they're like f- four pieces of that. And um, we got for the 30 quid, there was over 100 pieces of clothing. There were uh, the vest, uh, long sleeves, short sleeves, uh, you know, the, the uh, trousers, they were t-shirts there were hats there were uh, socks it was everything so we got basically everything for the period of the zero to three months <laughs> for 30 pounds which is amazing it is a lot of lot of things and uh and uh, yeah i think i think it's brilliant because we don't know what kind of size he will come out what he will decide like how grow he you know how fast he will grow so if you just would spend, you know, buying everything new, we would spend 
way you know even if you go to Primark or, or Asda or cheap cheap brands we just still spend a lot of money I got a snowsuit for for him as well um, basically brand new a uh, John Lewis uh, for for 10 pounds and as like snowsuits can go easily for 30 40 quid you know and again we don't know how long he's gonna stay in it. We don't know how what size he will come out. So, if you buy it and then he will grow out of it in in, in a month, you're like, well, okay, it was just tenner, and I can still sell it, and I can still maybe get the same money for it. I don't know. So it can end up the same. We are getting a few new things, uh, which for for you know like things like uh, you got a one prom suit, new one. Uh, then we got what we got new, uh, the other things like baby blankets or sleeping bags. So that's kind of that kind of things we got new. Um, but yeah, just bit and pieces we got new uh, to you know cover the mattress and stuff like that. We got like we didn't get everything secondhand. But in terms of clothing, I said you know what, it's no point, especially for the free first few months and maybe afterwards we can like okay now he's not growing or when he's a little bit older it's like okay now he's not growing that fast so we can start buying normal clothes like or like first first hand <laughs> clothes um another thing is just uh i would highly recommend do you, any kind of classes before you start buying a lot of things because you will find out that the, that uh, especially when it comes to sleep safety, bath time, uh, especially mainly these two, uh, or even toys, or and I will cover the toys a little bit later. But you will find out that a lot of things are not safe, or they are not recommended by midwives or or doctors. And then you will end up like, okay, I, we bought all this, and now they're telling us that's not safe, or that's not actually good for the baby. Uh, then you know, then you just wasted your money. So uh, I know that we we were, we were not getting any the sleep hat, the sleeping hat, or anything like that. It's like I don't want that. Uh, it's expensive, and it's just like I just put in a blanket, and you know, I just will see how we go when the baby is born. So a lot of things are just like yeah, we will see because these days you can order it very quickly from Amazon. You can have it next day or even Sunday, same day. You can check Facebook. You can quickly go and pick up something, you know, from somewhere. So, you, you know, life is so much easier now and it's better to actually wait. And it's like, okay, well, this doesn't work. We need it and, and get it done. And instead of buying everything new or getting a lot of things and then like, okay, now we have to sell it. So these sort of classes, I did a class about um, how to care about a newborn and they were talking about bath time, and that was actually helpful because I found out uh, about the the seats in the in the bath. They said like, well, they're not against them, but they said like, anyway, you can't let go of the baby. You have to hold the baby. You can just put it and and you know see tomorrow, or just be, get distracted. So the the, the midwife said like, I'm, we are not against them, but again, it can give you the the fix fake like or it can give you some sort of like oh i don't need to or i can just turn around and in that moment when you turn around something can happen so it's like now you always have to have a hands on your baby so that's why they don't recommend them and i was like oh that's really true and i said anyway we should be you know not lazy with my husband and and really try to figure it out how to hold the baby without this additional help of the seed uh, because I think like, if we will be always counting on something helping us, we will get less confident or we will get always like, oh, we needed something to help us instead of actually trusting ourselves and trusting our instincts and things like that. So I highly recommend be careful they to talking in, in these classes, they talking about the, you know, the baby products as well. And, um, and all the stuff. So a lot of things I was thinking, ah. Oh, I thought that I have to have that, or I need to buy that now, or actually I don't need to buy it now, or I don't need to buy it at all, or they are not safe, or... So yeah, just think about it, just because it's on social media, or everyone talks about it, doesn't mean your baby will need it, your baby will love it, or 
you know, it will make you that you're a terrible mom. <laughs> Not at all. I think we, we are really practical with my husband so far. And we're getting really just things that we need. And then we say, like, oh, let's see. You know, if we don't need something, then we will get it as we go. Uh, what I got, I don't have it with me. Oh, the the uh, the nappy nappy carrier. So when you put the nappies and the extra stuff and and the little things, but I actually got it on a baby register, so I didn't pay for it, but I got that one, and I will share with you, on the end, what I put on on the register for the baby and uh, and why we did it. So we did a really uh, kind of smart baby register. We ask uh, the step parents to be to either get us cash. Or, or just buy specific stuff. Or we, I created a list on Amazon and it's like, okay, this is what we need and this is all what we kind of want and like need and want at the same time. And like, please buy just the products from the list. You don't need to get them on Amazon, uh, but just stick to the list because we, you know, we don't want clutter. We don't want toys which are making a lot of noise. We don't want any, any crap. You know, we don't want to end up selling things uh, just because it's like you got something what you think we want it, but we actually don't want it or we have it already. Uh, so we were really clear with the baby register and, and kind of, yeah, mm, it's kind of bossy. But at the same time, it's like, you know what, let's be like, we are all grown ups and, and let's just be honest and, and you know, smart about it. So we created the, oh, I did create the, the baby register. We asked the my in-laws about get the things from the list. My parents sent us the money. So we just like putting things together instead of, you know, buying things like, like yeah, buy, buy whatever. You will end up with a lot of crap. So, uh, yeah, we're hoping people will stick to our list. <laughs> And we won't need, no need to end up with, with a lot of nonsense. The other thing is that a lot of people will start checking day crap on you. I know in, in terms of stuff like, oh, we don't need this. We don't need that. We don't need this. And what we made it clear, we said, okay, but what if we decide that we don't want it or, or we will get it again from someone or can we sell it? Can we return it? Can we, you know, can we, are you okay with that? So we were quite clear on, it's like, we may not need it, or it may go to, to grandparents' house, or like, really be honest and clear about it, because then you can end up that your friends will be just chucking things at you, and they will be getting rid of the clutter, but then you will end up with a clutter in your house, and, and it happened to us a little bit as well, that we end up with like, oh my God, we have a things that we don't want or we don't use. So what are we going to do with that? So just be careful about it and, and just say, okay, no, like before you bring anything, can I come actually to yours if if, if you are allowed now with the restrictions of uh, because of the COVID? But if you can, you just, just tell them what you want or what you can't, you know, or if you say, hey, okay, if you come to me with the three bags of stuff, I probably not use everything. Can I sell it? Can I give it to the charity shop? Can I do that? Just make it very clear so you don't upset anyone, but make it, yeah, just clear and be grown up about it. Um, so now let's go for the reasons or the pro and cons about pre-love stuff. And as I said, you know, the baby register, it was smart, you know, smartly designed to get things we needed and things was like, oh, I would love to have that one, but I don't want to, you know, pay for it right now. Or just like, yeah, if you want to buy me something, please get this, you know, because this is what I really, really want. Uh, so pro and cons. The pro is definitely you saving lots of money, you know, just for the, uh, the, the code we saved around 240, 50 pounds for the prom, even though we didn't pay for it, you know, my, my mother-in-law saved on that one 700 quid. Uh, you know, so you're saving a lot of money and that's massive 
kind of for something you don't know if you will need it or if a baby will fit into it or if the baby will like it. So the first probably half a year or year is really tricky. So don't go and spend crazy money on anything. Uh, when you're doing the baby on a budget, uh, you will limit uh, as well emotional purchases because you will kind of get into the you know point when you do I really need it. Do I really want it? You know, do I really want it because, you know, she has it, so I want it as well. So you will limit uh, emotional purchases, which is good, because a pregnancy, I'm telling you, you can buy a lot of stuff just because they are cute. You know, uh, it gives you, uh, you do a lot more research. I did a lot of more research about what is safe, what is okay. Oh, I don't know if I did more research just because of the budget, but I was thinking more like, do I really need it? Is that really something what is helpful or what the baby needs? And then I got more into, you know, deep into that. And I was like, well, no, it's actually, you know, a lot of people speak against that. Or I was checking their reviews and a lot of people said, no, it's complete nonsense or it doesn't work. Or, or yeah, so just you do a little bit more research and digging instead of just like, yeah, that's pretty or that's cute or oh, everyone has it. So I have it as well. Again, it has to do something with the, the, the emotional purchases. Another pro is obviously because recycling, you're recycling the clothes, you're getting pre love stuff. So it's eco-friendly. You or we most likely will end up selling the things again. So I'm not saying that we will make, you know, we will get all the money back exactly what we, you know, we got. But again, we can sell it and, and buy the new stuff. So, you know, you just recycle. So it's eco-friendly and, um, and um, it's, it's just a bit better, isn't it? Uh, one thing when I was talking about the scratches, so if you're buying secondhand prom, or car seat or anything with kind of the, you know, is, is newish, um, then uh, I, you know, because it has scratches, the problem has the scratches on the sides. It's not it's like, oh, I wish it didn't have. But on the other hand, I know when we will be checking into the car and back from the car, I know I'm like, oh, who cares? You know, I won't be always yelling at my husband, like, be careful, be careful, you will scratch it, you will scratch it. We, we are free of distress. It doesn't mean that we will treat the things uh, with disrespect and we will be just chucking things around and who cares because it has a scratches. But we will not have that thing when you have a new thing. It's like, oh, be careful, be careful, be careful, you scratch it. You know, we will be like, it already has the scratches, but it doesn't mean that we have to treat it, you know, as a piece of crap. Uh, okay, now the, the things which are not as fun about the secondhand stuff or pre-loved stuff you will need to clean everything. So I'm not just talking about washing clothes because you anyway have to wash a baby clothes before, you know, if you're buying new one, you anyway have to wash it. Uh, but I'm thinking about when we go to prom, I have to wash everything, you know, the, the changing bag, the seats, the cover, just take everything off, wash it, dry it. So I was, I felt like, crazy person here because I was always in the garden drying something, washing something. <laughs> so there was, I think, one or two weeks uh, period when we got a lot of things and I just kept washing everything. So it was just uh, like a little raccoon washing everything. And um, so that's kind of, that's, that's, that's annoying. But again, you know, you would wipe down new stuff as well and especially now with COVID or just because it stings sometimes the new things smells quite strongly so you will wash it anyway it gave me actually good practice about how to take the things apart and how to put them back so I have a good practice in that and um so that's a plus uh but when I was washing it I was like I just keep washing something and cleaning and and I just start thinking about all the money we saved and how much we help the, the planet with this because obviously you're gonna reuse it and resell it. And so it's just keep keep your, in your head like the money you saved, if nothing. Uh, another this, like annoying thing sometimes is that you need to some looking for deals or it may take a little bit more time. 
to 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 find a good deal but on the other hand when i was actually looking we saw the uh the curry cord oh, no the curry cord the cord bed so let me go to the cord bed yeah you like you have to go and pick it up somewhere but usually you're looking for the deals in your area so you don't drive crazy miles away but what what you know what happened is like yeah you will need to do a little bit of haggling maybe my husband loves it so i was just like okay we need this one if you want to haggle you haggle i'm not haggling you know so he loved these things so he haggled a few times but when he you know yeah oh he's obsessed with looking for good deals so when he got a good deal i, I knew that he's getting somewhere locally and he can pick it up very easily and for example the the cord bed from mamas and papas i was looking at it and yeah, like we, we start looking way ahead and just make sure that if it's going to take us some time, maybe to find a good deal or good quality code. And then obviously we'll need to pick it up. But then I was looking at a website of Mama's Papa's and they said like you can order it. And there was something four weeks delivery or something like that. So again, it's just even though you buy it new, it means you have to go to the store to pick it up or you have to wait for the delivery. Uh, so, you know, it's kind of like, yeah, it's, it's annoying to look for the deals, but at the same time, you will be looking for the best code as well. So it kind of balances out. So that's my baby on budget. As I said, really put on the baby register stuff you want, you need, and be grown up about it. Be honest with your friends and family about it. And it's like, you know what, you know, I put a, we put a products or stuff which are, more expensive and on budget or like for people so if uh, someone wants to spend just 10 pounds they have an option which is just few quit thing you know a toy or chewing toy which i know that we will not need it right now but it will be you know it will be nice to have at some point so they can buy it you know and it's cheap so we, we get like few options for the baby register and and people can choose and pick whatever they want and uh, yeah just be grown up about it and uh, try to limit you know the emotional purchases because everything with the baby is for the babies is so cute it's adorable it's tiny and you want to buy the, all the tiny shoes but then the baby grows out of it or even is born too big for it so i hope you enjoyed this episode please do comment let me know what was your the best buy or or the the most emotional crazy buy for your baby i will do more episodes later on when baby is out and uh, talking about what we actually used what we needed what was actually a good purchase what was stupid purchase and uh, you can ch check my other episode which is about the pregnancy on sort of budget or my favorite uh, pregnancy products. Thank you very much and see you soon.